what's wrong with modern gaming nowadays each game that comes out is an unoptimized mess the basic requirements are so high just to play the game at 1080p 60 fps they want us to purchase an RTX 4090 or a 9800x 3D just to play their games properly at 1080p i mean it does not make any sense so what if i were to tell you that there is an option to increase your frame rate that is by downloading a software yeah that's right you can increase your frame rate by downloading a software that is known as lossless scaling so let's check it out in this video so this is what the lossless scaling dashboard looks like here are all the options these are the modes 2x 3x 4x they also have a scaling mode scaling type so for example if your game does not support amd fsr or dlss you can also use these technologies to upscale your image it helps to reduce the gpu load first we are going to launch horizon forbidden west we are going to test the 3x mode in this game my base fps in this game was not so high i was getting around 30 to 50 fps on average in thorn marsh as it is a quite a cpu intensive area so as you can see i have enabled the 3x mode i will resume the game then i will hit control alt s and lossless scaling is enabled you can see on the top left corner we are getting a fraction on the top left corner the first fps is the base fps that we are getting and the third second one is the fps that has been multiplied also you can see the crosshair there is some glitching on the crosshair due to the lossless scaling it is phasing in and out yeah this is one of the drawbacks of lossless scaling also when we are rotating the camera like this even our character model is phasing in and out this looks like something out of spiderman beyond the spider verse this looks like something out of spiderman across the spider verse yeah this is one of the major drawback of lossless scaling if you move your camera too fast the character's head or maybe the face the character's head or maybe the face will just move out of existence now i have switched off lossless scaling you can see i was getting around 40 to 45 fps so there is a performance hit as well while using lossless scaling it's not like you are getting this performance upgrade for free now what i have done is i have fixed my fps at 30 fps and now i'll do the 2x multiplier when i'll switch on when i will switch on lossless scaling our 30 fps will seem like 60 fps now that i have turned on lossless scaling you can see it is much smoother even though the artifacting is still there but as we are fixing the base fps it is not a variable refresh rate the performance seems to be much smoother artifacting has reduced quite a lot as it is clearly visible in this example I think it looks quite decent and the input lag is not so bad. It is playable. For single player titles, of course, it is definitely playable. Now I will switch the game. We'll switch to Red Dead Redemption 2. the game is loaded and we are getting around 55 56 fps in valentine this area is quite cpu intensive i am playing the game at 1440p but i am using a resolution multiplier so that it looks much clearer yeah we are not able to hit 60 fps consistently at all
we have to run the game at windowed borderless in order to run lossless scaling otherwise if we run it at full screen we get a black screen and lossless scaling does not work windowed borderless is the way to go these are the settings i am running at ultra settings I switch to DLSS. Without DLSS, we are getting 51 FPS, 53, 52. Yeah, I mean it is playable for a single player title, but it does not. Oh shit! I am wanted now for disturbing the peace. Oh shit, they're shooting now. No worries. We got rampage. Let's get clear. Let's move our wanted level. Never wanted. Yeah. Now we can benchmark peacefully. 56, 55. Yeah, we are not hitting 60 at all. You can see clearly. 49. It's dipping below 50 as well. Now I'll switch on. Now I will switch on lossless scaling. Control Alt press is apparently not working, so I'll switch the tab. Scale. It will take five seconds for it to apply. yeah now we are base fps is around 42 we are using the 2x mode so we are getting the output as 86 fps crosshair is not glitching that much it is glitching a bit but it seems to be a bit lesser as compared to horizon forbidden west let's run around and see whether our character phases in and out of existence yeah arthur's hair is going in and out this will be an issue in almost all the games i think but i don't think we need to move the camera so fast all the time this is just to show you that this is the drawback of this technology even our weapon is going in and out of existence nobody plays the game like this i know Nobody goes around shaking their mouse like this. If you are playing on controller, I don't think you can move your right stick so fast. Even if you increase the sensitivity. Yeah, maybe by increasing your sensitivity you can. But still, I don't think nobody will play the game like this. Now I'll show you some side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll be benchmarking Horizon Forbidden West, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Grand Theft Auto 5. I wanted to benchmark more games, but it takes a lot of time to edit and all. So let's go with three games because I just want to display the technology, how it's working, whether you can perceive it to be smoother or not. That's the main goal of this video. Let's start with the side-by-side -side comparisons. First, we'll see Horizon Forbidden West. We are walking in Thornmarsh towards the Pitmaster. So on the left side, we have the lossless scaling generated. And then on the right side, we have the base frame rate. So I've sped this up just to see if there is any artifacting in the normal gameplay. Now I'm going to do the same walk now we are going to do the same thing again but I will slow the video down so that you are able to observe any artifacting or any other glitches. On the left side we have the game running with lossless scaling at 2x. On the right side we have the game running normally. Of course the video on the left looks much smoother as compared to the one on the right. On the left we are getting 60 fps constantly and in the right one as the frame rate is unlocked, the, it is not so consistent. 
I don't see too much artifacting on the left side. It looks quite clear. Yeah, I don't see much artifacting on the video in the left side. I mean, yeah, the head phases in and out if you move the camera fast. But otherwise it is quite, it's quite stable. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind playing the game like this. There is one issue with lossless scaling frame generation that it causes a watery or Vaseline-like effect on the edges of the screen. But it happens when you use the 3x or the 4x mode. In the 2x mode, I'm not able to see that much. Now we'll be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and we'll be taking a walk. We'll be taking a walk from the stable towards the church. On the left side, we have the game running with lossless scaling frame generation. On the right side, we have the game running at 30 FPS, logged. Again, the image on the left looks much smoother as compared to the one on the right. I don't see much artifacting on the left again. I mean, it is a bit softer, I mean, but yeah, I don't think it's that different. Let's see the aiming reticle. Let's move it through a bunch of trees. Yeah, it is not breaking up much. It is breaking a bit, yeah. At the end it was, yeah. The reticle is breaking a bit in lossless scaling on the left side. The one on the right is completely stable, but due to lossless. There is some artifacting near the edges of the body of Arthur as well. Yeah, that is an issue with lossless scaling. But, but it is much smoother. I will say that again and again. Once you see it on your monitor, it is so smoother. You can't believe it. I mean, it's a weird effect. Now let's see Grand Theft Auto 5. We are riding the bike. Yeah, again, not much artifacting on the image on left. In this one, we are using the 4x mode actually. So like the game is running at 30 FPS on the right side and the left one is actually running at 120 FPS. I have slowed down the recording. There is a little bit of artifacting, but I don't think it's much. I mean, the game is running at 120 FPS, imagine. It looks so smooth on the monitor, you can't... I mean, it's hard to describe it. But still, even after slowing the video, we can see that there is not much artifacting or shimmering. But if you use it on your monitor and it's, it's having a refresh rate of around 120 Hz or 144 Hz or above, I think you would prefer the gameplay on the left side that you can see because 120 fps feels a lot smoother as compared to 30 fps or even 60 fps personally in single player games 60 fps is fine but anything above 90 fps and above feels a lot smoother i would prefer to use lossless scaling as compared to the image on the right if you are having a CPU bottleneck or if your GPU is unable to hit the target frame rate or it is very close to 60 FPS, I think you should use lossless scaling. Lock your frame rate around 48, 50 FPS. Use the 2x mode and you will of course have around 100 FPS that is the interpolated frame rate. But it looks quite smoother. It's difficult to explain it on uh, through a YouTube video but if you use it on your monitor i think you'll be able to see the difference if you use any like if you play any game that is having frame generation of its own there is less artifacting because of the presence of motion vectors but you can see that even after having frame generation the game feels a lot more smoother as compared to before 
so i think this is a good technology and people should use it especially budget gamers who don't want to upgrade their system every 2 or 3 years technologies like these can help you to extend the life span of your system in version 2.12 there is a new feature that is the resolution scale so this helps you to decide the resolution of the generated frames so for example if you are setting the resolution scale of the generated frames to be at 80% or 70% the load on the gpu decreases your base frame rate does not take a major hit to performance as compared to the normal frame generation using 100% resolution scale so i would recommend people to use the 80% or 90% scaling as even 50% actually i used 50% in red dead redemption 2 and the loss in quality was not that high okay that's it for this video i'll post more benchmarks if you request in the comments i hope this video was helpful for you i would recommend people to use lossless scaling if they are not willing to upgrade the system every 2 or 3 years the results are quite good but i would also say one more thing that if you are having low end hardware the results are quite different sometimes the performance hit is too high and the generated frames are unable to compensate the performance hit it the game feels much more choppier and laggier if your hardware is unable to generate a decent amount of base frame rate so thank you for watching that's it for this video if you want me to post more benchmarks please write in the comments if you want me to benchmark a particular game please mention that i will add all the data whether it is loss generated using lossless scaling or without lossless scaling thank you for watching have a good day